Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Hold Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your February 2023 monthly tarot reading with the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always Libra. So let's see what we have for you. We'll pull an overarching energy, some general energies and then look specifically at love, romance, relationships and money, career, finances and any other thread that comes out. So, we have the King of Pentacles to start your reading. Could be a person or the energy of the card. Two of Cups. Three of Wands. Eight of Wands. And we have the Empress, Libra in energy. This can be Libra or Taurus. Let's see what we have in love romance first and then we'll look at money career. What do we have for Libra please, angel spirits guides? Message for Libra please, angel spirits guides. Message for Libra, love romance, thank you first. Nine of swords, something preying on your mind here. With the eight of pentacles, hard work. Let's see what we have. I mean, really, this could be money areas. With the King of Pentacles, money areas could be affecting your relationship as well. Um, or could be affecting you on your own. You know, there could be a strong focus that your relationships aren't priority this month. Money is. So let's see what we have in money front. And the money front, what do we have for Libra, please? Thank you. We have the devil. With the Two of Wands, Choices. Okay, Libra, I'm going to pull an Angel Answer card for you. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra, please, for February 2023? We've got No. I see that here. <laughs> But you're creating something we have uh if you believe this looks always to me like the uh, symbol of the of creation archangel metatron uh no but you're creating something else by the looks of things in the near future which ties in with february perfectly yeah there's opportunity i feel that there is actually i'm going to stop looking at these cards <laughs> let's pull the next one for you what do we have for libra like they've got a narrative of their own at the moment what do we have for libra please love romance relationships separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon and we have for some of you i feel that money is affecting the relationship and it might well be a period of out of the situation will serve you well that's that separating yourself from the issue of the devil which can be in a workplace situation here for others of you this could well be um, some level of separation that you've been going through to see how you're going to move forward so let's see what we have separation energy can also be linked with distance relationships um, if you've been like uh, if this person travels a lot there could be it could be an issue here so we'll go through that Libra what do we have for Libra in money areas what do we have for Libra in money thank you we have have courage to ask for and accept help asking for help is a sign of strength as is accepting as it is offered to you it as is as it is offered to you very often when you ask god for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided let's look at money so we have the king of pentacles this is about, this is a, an energy here, Libra, of financial success, achievement, stability, security, and feeling comfortable and safe within that kind of mix. So if you haven't felt that in your current circumstances, 
that feels what's coming into you now it can be linked with a person king of pentacles in money areas is a great person of achievement and success as uh, somebody who's very successful in their own right so this is somebody who understands how to make money um they can hold an opportunity here libra and we do have opportunity being presented to you you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn male or female um, it definitely looks like it's coming in and it's from the steps that you have taken this person can be offering you a job opportunity business opportunity career opportunity contract but it feels like this person is going to be significant for you this month in february and it's all to bring in, in those energies of stability and security and feeling safe and secure in your money aspect and the environment that it presents you know because there is a strong energy here if there's something about your money and career here uh, Libra that's just not serving you the devil can be a toxic boss toxic work environment toxic ethos it's become too much of a thing and but there's things that we like about the devil as well you might like a person you might have a strong friendship there friendships even uh, you might like the job itself or the location of the work you know all of this kind of thing but there's just something that has become that blot on the landscape of a beautiful picture that you just can't that has become more and more of an issue and it's about the two of wands taking action two of wands can be do i stay or go because you're going to be presented with that predicament you're going to be presented do you stay in the seeming uh the illusion i want to say of a comfort zone or do you step into the unknown the message is don't let fear guide your choices it's about making the right choice for you i feel these cards are talking to each other as well because again the nine of swords and the eight of pentacles it can be about stress worry anxiety affecting your relationship your home your family dynamic as well about your work situation you know what do i keep on putting my time and energy into should i stay where i am or do i do i move in a new direction or step into the unknown even though there's a risk in that is that the right thing for me it looks like you're going to be at that gateway here this month the, the advice that I'm getting here, Libra, is you have all the strength that you need to face this situation and be truly honest with yourself in doing what's right for you. Two of Wands is a confident and courageous energy and it's empowered. It's dealing with a situation and moving in the direction that serves you. With the separation energy, it might well be giving yourself some space and time to just have that step back and assess your situation will serve you well because it's almost like to make this choice or decision you need to have I feel a few days away from this devil energy that's what I'm seeing here two of cups and the eight of wands again two of cups can be linked with offers and invitations in money career finances uh, but it can also be about you know if you're facing a choice on the love front to do with a money situation this is somebody who is supporting you you know uh, eight of wands is how you take action and move forward in a positive way that brings change and transformation it can be about communication and conversation coming in and it might well be here libra if you are applying for new jobs you're seeing what's out there this is the energy that i'm seeing seeing what's out there being open to the unknown being open to you know uh, broaden your horizons in some way there is something good coming in new abundance Three of Wands and the Empress is the newest coming into you. You're creating the new reality that makes you feel abundant, that, that has real potential for growth and promise and possibility and thriving, you know, and coming into your own. So the Three of Wands is something is coming towards you. There is a feeling here of what you're taking steps towards and how you're approaching your situation here, Libra. If you're at the point of seeing what's out there, seeing what job opportunities are out there, it looks like you hit a home run. It looks like you're hitting the bullseye in some way because there's something positive coming towards you and it's new abundance with the Empress. The, the Empress is the birth of something new, but also this feeling of bounty and being in a position where being in the right uh, environment where you can come into your own and thrive, you know, that's the energy that I'm getting. So it might well be in this situation that 
this devil will tempt you to stay. The devil is tempting. There is a feeling of saying no because a strong energy here of, like I said, and again, these cards are coming out for a reason. So free will, Libra, should you choose to stay, then you know what to expect. Because the Nine of Swords is, is something really preying on your mind. It could well be a situate this situation in the work has really got into your head. It could have even caused you mental health problems. It could have also caused you stress and worry. And this could be a, like work related stress as well. Um, and just the point where it's so much, you've got so much work, you take on so much responsibility, it's become so much of a thing that you can't see the wood for the trees and something has to give. So there could well be some work-related stress here. It looks like there's a feeling of answered prayers in the form of someone. And that's what this spirit, this spirit is telling you. Prayers are answered through other people. And I feel another person is quite significant for you this month. Very good in terms of money career, the King of Pentacles in particular. Uh, because I feel they're bringing opportunity to you. That's what I'm seeing here. There's still a choice for you to make, but uh, it looks like Spirit is encouraging you to really trust your intuition and move in a direction of abundance where you don't feel lack, where you feel abundant and positive and heal and grow. And that's what I'm seeing here. So you might be cutting some cords or have the opportunity to cut some cords here. Let's see what we have in love romance relationships here libra and I, again i'm seeing this this devil energy i'm seeing the cards talk to each other here separation sometimes we separate ourselves from people and situations because they don't serve our highest good and we need to, we need time to think it might well be some time alone will serve you well this month. The devil can be about temptation. It can be to do with somebody who has an addiction problem, codependency. I can't live without this person. Uh, a behavioral pattern, controlling, jealous, manipulative, temptation. They're giving to temptation. This is that point where you're choosing, do I stay or go? Now, the king of pentacles can be... Uh, somebody who is promising stability and security again. So this, I feel, is what this devil energy is promising you. But I'll do all the work. I'll do what it takes. But you're not sure about it. Again, the, the Nine of Swords, I just don't know whether to believe that. But I can't see the wood for the trees in making this choice or decision. This is the energy here where you need some time to yourself to come to the right conclusion for you face things in the right manner here Libra that serves your highest good and that's what I'm seeing here this person does feel a little bit pushy um, because it's almost kind of like they're just wanting to move forward quickly well can we move on from this it looks like you're having conversations on how you move forward with this person this can also be about travel and uh, going on holiday well why don't we take a holiday why don't we reconnect reforge the bond reconcile here um by going and doing this you know this can be that kind of energy but they just want to move forward they want to move forward and they want to move forward quickly here libra the message is don't be swept up with what they want this is about understanding what you want and what you deserve here and that's what i'm seeing here the Empress and the Three of Wands, this can actually be Libra, again with this no energy and free will. The Three of Wands can be about, well, that ship might have sailed. It can be about opening up, broadening your horizons and turning your back on a situation that no longer serves you. Uh, with the Empress energy, it's about creating something new for yourself, self-love. Um, uh, a reality where you can nurture and grow in your own right and just be come back to yourself in some way because the empress doesn't settle for less than she deserves you know the empress energy um, is she wouldn't tolerate it you know she doesn't tolerate the devil energy she doesn't tolerate anything that makes her feel lack doesn't tolerate anything that that 
that doesn't serve her highest good. She likes to move in this bountiful and fulfilling energy. So really this kind of devil energy is presenting an issue for this Empress energy and it's all about creating a new reality that where you can come into your own again, I'm seeing, but it looks like turning your back on a situation or at least considering that here. I feel part of this process here, Libra, is it might well be your trust has been broken in a situation here and you're considering either separating from this person or need time apart from this person to come to some kind of conclusion for you. Now, if this isn't, I will also say, the other thread that I'm getting with this, and I did kind of touch upon this at the beginning of the reading, uh, because there was just an additional kind of thread that kind of spun between work and a relationship, which is you might be connected to this person in in money terms here and well sorry you might be connected to this person in relationship terms here but they're realizing that they have to make some choices potentially about getting another job because the work situation has become too much of a problem now this is either dealing with a workaholic or travel and distance between you has become too much of a thing to the point where it's detrimental for your relationship so their job has become an issue this is the energy here Libra where they might well be seeing what's out there and it looks like it possibly a new job is coming their way that restores abundance between the two of you because there's a feeling that something needs to change here and understanding that between the two of you like I said it could either be their work issue and it could be for you it could be for them but a workaholic issue or work dominating your life has become so much of an issue and it, like I said there could be some distance or travel and issues associated with that it looks like that has an opportunity to be resolved Really, I'm thinking February going into March here because a new opportunity is the solution. So that was the other thread that came through quite strongly and I need to say whatever comes to me. But I definitely see that being resolved for you if someone's job, yours or theirs, has really, has really affected the relationship just by the makeup of the job, you know, just by the fact that it requires long working hours and they were never at home or you were never feeling that you were at home or the fact that they were away for periods of time or had to travel for periods of time. There was a distance potential, you know, to do with the job where they had to be away from home for periods of time. This is the energy here where they're realizing that they have to say no to this old life and embrace the new. Now this King of Pentacles could be somebody holding the opportunity, could be the person who understands what they need to do to bring stability and security back into their financial aspect but also into their home and work situation. Okay, that's what I have for you Libra, quite a big reading, but I say what comes to me. It does feel like you understand how to resolve the issue though, how to deal with the problem. Okay, final message for Libra. Yeah, you see, moderation. Everything in moderation, which the devil is not. So we have, is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Doing what you need to do to bring your life back into balance. That's the energy here. To have a good work-life balance, a good balance in work, a good balance in relationships. This is the energy that I'm seeing. And in your own life as well, Libra. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful February. I will see you next time.